Hi and welcome to the Movement Lesson Sports Academy. We recently looked at some of the best footballers in the world and in my opinion what made them look so great and, and brilliant to, to watch in terms of their movement. But we're focused today on some of the, the best young players in the world right now. Again, what similar attributes have they got to, to the, the top players in the world? And in terms of their movement, what potential flaws in the movement could put a potential injury risk in there? If you like what the video, please like and subscribe. We've got lots of videos just the same. Hit that subscribe button for, for more updates and Movement Lesson Sports Academy as we release them. What better place to start? And we're actually going to bookmark the video with the two young English players. But this one is one, he's so good, the Beatles named a song after him. Jude Bellingham. And I think we watched Jude Bellingham and, and look at his movement. His weight transfer is phenomenal. And another big thing to do is one, two, there's a, a third scan, just critical scan just before he receives the ball. Bellingham's scanning is unbelievable. His vision is great. Look at that weight transfer, the balance that Bellingham has. Everything with Jude Bellingham is so effortless because of his weight balance and his pelvic strike is so strong. You watch with Lionel Messi when he put Look at this weight transfer. There you go. See you later. Look at his hips, the role of his hips play in that, enable him to, to shift his weight. You look at Lionel Messi play, Messi at his best has such a strong pelvic strike that he doesn't need to have big swings at the ball. He's able to com control every shot that he makes because his pelvic strike is so effective. Bellingham's just like that. Everything looks easy. Everything looks effortless to him. Again, weight transfer. See you later. Again, this is him coming through as a, a youngster at Birmingham. And, and again, just going past players. Look at somebody falling over, losing the balance because they're, the counter rotation... The, there isn't the, that rotational ability in his body at the same level as, as Jude Bellingham. Again, there's a look at his scanning. One. Have another look before he receives the ball. Two, as he receives the ball. Head up all the time, scanning the pitch. His rotation and his counter-rotation and counter-balance is so good that he's always able to upright. He's always scanning the pitch. There's another glance as that is he's moving forward. His pelvic strikes good. We know that. So he's constantly moving forward with his momentum. And it's allowing his eyes to, to come into play and be able to, to scan the pitch to, to pick out things that other players probably don't see. There we've got another one. Two. And because he knows where everyone is, because his weight balance is so good, he knows where the danger's coming from. He can quickly shift the ball and get out of trouble, find the space and pick a pass because he knows where everyone is on the pitch. Another look, scan before he receives the ball. Another scan just as the ball gets to him. Moving the ball away from the danger, scanning again. Balance is so good, it means that his eyes are able to, to focus around the pitch and pick out any danger, pick out a pass for teammates. Another player who's fantastic at it is Pedri, another player off the uh, conveyor belt at Barcelona, and unbelievable um, similar attributes that, that he's got. They produce player after player, but balance is superb. The, the great thing with Pedri, watch him, every first touch it moves. He never, he's never stopped when he takes the first touch. Look at that, senses the danger, uses his body well to, to move away from the man. His first touch is constantly on the move. And again there, you see you talk about the importance of the pelvic strike. He plays the ball, his hips are carrying through, his momentum's coming through all the time. And you saw uh, the ball through to, to Messi, and you see Messi as he hits. We talk about that pelvic strike, passing the ball into the net and using your hips. Same again, uh, two great examples from, from Messi. That's what we're looking for. The, the pelvic strike's that good that he doesn't break his run at all. Great flip from Pedri. Awareness of everyone around him on the pitch, Pedri. And when he, he does look at, at taking that first touch, it's away from the danger. We've got some more examples of that um, coming up here as well. 
look at the way that Pedri moves as well. First touch into space, he glides, change of speed, change of weight transfer. Again, doesn't look the quickest, but makes it look effortless and glides past players away from danger straight away using his body. First touch is positive away from the man and, and that ability to shift the weight and know what's coming, know where the danger's coming from, takes him away from danger each time. He's already aware that weight balance is brilliant. His pelvic strike's great. You know he's got a lot of rotation. I'm going to see a few examples of, it, of his ability to, to rotate. There's less strain being put on the body with that rotation. It makes it look easier. He's gliding. He looks like he's bouncing. He's not heavy. And it also means that he's reducing the injury risk and strain from the body. That combined with the, the pelvic strike that he has. We're talking about clubs who have a conveyor belt producing young talent. Ryan Grabenbach's latest uh, to come out of Ajax. Again, look at the first touch all the time. Is another player that looks like he glides as he moves. First touch is always on the move. Rotation. So in those three clips already, we've seen him spinning around. First touch away from danger, spinning again. Great rotation, ability again. The whole body, everything's looking effortless to him. Great rotation, counter rotation, shifts his weight. See you later. And he's off. I'm going to slow some of these clips down for us as well to, to be able to have a look at. Robin, Robin Batch again. Look at that. The shift in the, the weight and the weight transfer. The rotation that he's got through his body. Now the only thing with Graven Batch when you actually see him hit a ball is you see how his, his hips don't come through, his pelvic strike isn't as pronounced as it was with Pedri as it was in them clips in Messi when we were watching Pedri as well. Now brilliant, great rotation again, you see him, everything's effortless, heads up, the body's moving, the hips are moving with the eyes making it a bit easier and again rotation easy again. Watch when he actually strikes the ball, though. When he's playing the ball, he can move, but quite often he plays the ball. So it, there, he's played it a couple of times, given go. I'm just rewound the clips back here to, to line these up, and I'm slowing it down. And he, he's gone off, uh, shot a couple of times, off screen a couple of times when he's had a shot. Just watch his hips. So with Pedri, and we're talking about Pedri and then Messi in the Pedri videos, is a really effective pelvic strike. So when, when Gravenbach is, is playing the ball, He's, he's continuing that momentum. So his first touch is brilliant, shifting his weight, and he knows where the danger's coming from. So that first touch with that weight transfer is allowed to, to move into space. When he strikes the ball, though, he's not following through with his hips. So he's passing it, and he's on the move. When he actually hits the ball, his pelvic strike isn't pronounced. It's just putting more pressure on the, the rest of the body to compensate. We're going to need more counter rotation. We're going to need better counter uh, balance from him. Watch him here, how his hips actually sink back as he hits the ball in there. How his hips actually collapse as he hits the ball there. And he's falling backwards. He's off balance. His, his momentum isn't forward. He's putting strain on other areas of the body potentially indicating it could be a, an injury risk down the line for him. There again, he's hit the ball and he's collapsed. As he strikes it, the hips collapse. And I know that the, the camera follows the ball, but you see it here. Hits it and his hips are collapsing. I think there's a, another couple of videos coming up in a second that show it. So in this instance... When he's actually playing the ball and it's looking effortless and easy to him, great rotation, good weight transfer, he plays it and he's still on the move. Although there's a little bit of a fall there that you saw in his hips again as he's played it. There, see the stutter as he actually makes contact with the ball. There's, a, there's just that a stutter momentum. Now, his weight, but his reading of the game, and you know, he's a clever player. You see that Ajax uh, focus on intelligence. He's a very clever player, reads the game well. 
is uh, weight transfer is brilliant to make the tackles. It means the time of the tackle is going to be great. And his pelvis comes through there, but it's when he's striking the ball, he's putting a strain and relying on compensation of other areas of the body that can potentially lead to it as an injury risk down the line. To another player who's a very similar, plays a similar position, had a lot of similar attributes, Aurelien Chouameni, who has already had his, his big money move to Real Madrid. He's already in the French squad. He's, uh, he's, he, he can do everything in midfield. He's, he can be creative. Uh, he can break up the play. He can drive forward. He can play as a, a six, an eight, or potentially even a ten. Uh, and he has a lot of similar attributes. Um, he, he's another clever player that has good rotation who has um, the ability to, to weight transfer and a lot of points in his movement. And someone else who looks to, to glide past players and again, as he's played the ball, continues his movement. He, his, his hips are great. He doesn't stop moving once that, that ball's been played. Now, one thing to look for, and you see it just there with, with too many. We go back to the pelvic strike. Look, when he when he plays the ball, and it's a, a longer pass, there's got a, a slight issue with his his pelvic strike. There's a, there's a slight deviance in, in his movement, and it actually leads to a slight hop. So it's coming through. He's trying to, to get the, the hips to come forward, but there's a, a slight issue with it. And again, it, he's going to have to compensate. He's going to have uh, issues. Watch this, uh, Bobby, as he's spraying it forward again. There, that little jump. And again, it's just highlighting little glitches in, in, the, in his system, in his movement. I mean, it's, it's a great pass, um, and he's able to continue moving forward after he's hit it, but it comes with that slight jump that he has to do. Good, good rotation, good ability to, again, as he's played the ball, he's just gone out a shot. We'll see if we can see that again. There's just a slight fall backwards as he's played it. So he's landed a slight lift up with his hips after he's done it. With that first touch, uses his body again. First touch is moving the ball. He knows where the danger's coming from. These players are superb at scanning. They look effortless as they're driving past people into space. Reading the game weight transfer, great challenge again. Some of the time of his tackles look brilliant because his weight transfer is so good and he can get to the ball and not be off balance. Nice one too as he's played the ball again, continues moving forward, but it's his longer passes it, it, where he's spraying the ball wide that leads to that little hop and a, and a jump that he's seen his pelvic strike. See it there as he's played the ball again. As he switches the play here, you're going to see a slight collapse in, it, in his pelvis. Here we go. He's down and he's fallen backwards and he's had to take two or three steps backwards before he comes forward. There again, pelvic strike collapses. There's a stop in his pelvis before he's then able to continue with a forward movement. And again, it's just highlighting the fact that the other areas of his body's counter-rotation, his counter-balance has got to be better to help maintain his balance. And it's just putting more pressure on other areas of his body. And as we slow these clips down, I'm going to watch for these critical scans. And you see it there from um, the player receiving the ball. There we go. There we go. One, before he receives the ball. Two, that critical scan just before he receives the ball. He knows his player's moved out of his way. He knows where the pressure's coming from, where he needs to move the ball to, to get away from danger. And we're going to see him spinning around here. Great rotation. Back up again. The buoyancy in his body to, to get away from literally being manhandled because he's too good and his, his rotation's too quick for his opponent. Reading the game again. Well, slight stutter as he, he tried to change direction that time, but generally on these clips, his weight transfer is good. And this is another good example coming up 
Watch his eyes, watch his vision. There's a scan there. The ball's on his way. He's already look he wasn't looking at the ball, he's already looking. He knows he's gonna get there before Axel Witzel. He knows where the space is, he knows he can let the ball run across him, he knows where the danger's coming from, and there you go, see you later, lads. So just using my hips to shift my weight. One, two, 